first one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, being able to throw your hair up and still looking presentable is a woman's essential key to making their day. My cheer bows are a fun, cute, and accessible way to styling up your everyday boring ponytail. My bows are a good way to bond with your team or with your friends, and they are simple and quick to make. These bows can also serve as other purposes, such as holiday events, sports events. Now I'll demonstrate the main steps for making your bow. First, you will need materials such as ribbon, displayed here, and then you will need scissors, right here, and then you'll need bobby pins or clips. My best way is clips, bobby pins work also, and then you can use either hot glue or super glue. Hot glue is recommended because it holds longer. These are all found on totallythebomb.com. The ribbon costs anywhere from 97 cents to $5 depending on the type of material. Ribbon like this is 97 cents. Ribbon such as this breast cancer ribbon is $5. The scissors are cheap. They cost anywhere from $1 to $5 depending on the quality of the blade. Bobby pins cost anywhere from $1.50 to $3 depending on how much you need. Hot glue sticks and the gun cost $6 roughly depending on how big the gun is. You will need to cut the ribbon however long you want and I honestly recommend you to start with one if you're beginners. This simple and easy ribbon is really quick to cut and to use. Once you have all these items out in front of you, you will then need to place the ribbon in front of yourself and make a cross and arch like so. Here's your cross and here's your arch. It should look like the breast cancer ribbon. Once you cross the ends of the ribbon and then once you cross the ribbon, you need to place the arch on the back side of the X and pinch the outsides and inside of the cross like this. The pin should look like this. Afterwards, you'll need to add a second piece of ribbon. I recommend white. Make sure it is little, that way you can put it all together and hot glue it better. You will then put the hot glue dab on the back of the ribbon, like so. You put the little piece of ribbon on back, it doesn't matter which way it goes, and then you will wrap it around the ribbon. Make sure you wrap it around anywhere from two times to three times, that way it holds properly. Then you'll need to place down really, really hard, making sure that your ribbon is flat. Then you'll cut the loose stray. Your bow is almost complete. All that you need next is your bobby pin or your clip. I recommend using clips because they're fast and easy to make. These specific ones, you have to hot glue them because it is metal and it will hold longer. You want to make sure you have a thin line, that way you don't burn yourself also. Safety tip number one. Alright, then after you look at your bow, if it doesn't look complete without the little frills in the hanging pieces, then you can go ahead and cut them off to where it points. Your bow should be complete. This isn't the perfect one, but it is an example. There should be an opening on the back, that way you can put it in and put it in your hair, like so. Or I won't go through it, I have one in my hair. I discovered all these methods on southern, southernplate.com. Now please remember that your bow is as unique as your creativity. You should be able to put in your hair and look awesome. Also these items are cheap and affordable, ranging in bulk from $10 to $30. This is a simple and quick process to making your hair look like a rock star. The end. Now it's time for the questioning and answering. How do you decide the design and the color of the bow? Okay, well whenever I use the blue and the white, you pretty much match the secondary with the primary and it'll go very well. All these colors, you can use these two and it'll make it look simple and easy and really cute. It's pink and white so it'll mix together. 
you usually use your primary and secondary colors to blend it together. Like you'd use orange and yellow, or you'd use red and white. It's something to make it look pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. How long have you been making bows? I've been making bows for a while, but I just started really getting into it three weeks ago. How do you know how long to cut the ribbon? All right, any, it depends on how long or how big you want your ribbon. If you want a big ribbon such as this one, then you might want to have a foot. If it's too long, then you could always cut it. Then this one right here, it's short and simple and it doesn't have to be long. It could be about the size of your forearm. All right, that is done with the question and answering. Thank you for watching my speech. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five.